in your hand and shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt. You remember, you remember, you kind of remember. I remember you back. now. I remember you now. I remember you now, but you lost quite a bit of weight. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit chunky, a little bit, but I don't have my beard either. So, mm -hmm. but, mm hmm. Yes, sir. I went to my friend, uh, man, he gave me, I think it was $5,000 for you. Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to sitting there, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. You, you helped there. me, right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now it's coming back, yeah. Yeah. It's coming back now. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you had lost complete identity of you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see you. What's up, guys? It makes me vibes here. I hope your day is filled with positivity and love. I hope that things are going your way. And I hope you're having a, a good day. Honestly, I do. I apologize if you if you hear a lot of wind noise, but it's very windy right now. With that being said, I, I apologize. It's, it's, it's been a sort of emotional day. Very emotional, if I'll be honest. Although I've I've regulated my emotions, and of course I'm I'm feeling my emotions, but I'm also I'm also understanding that things like this happen. What I'm referencing is that today I went to church with my grandfather, who just turned 90 years old this year in October, which is great very long life was in the military air force for a while um, preacher for 40 years plus and a loving grandfather just a family man did construction and concrete work for yeah damn near 40 years and today i walked in and as soon as I walked into church, I was like, I'm going to surprise him because he wasn't expecting me to be there as I surprised my other family. Well, I walked in today and he was like, who, who, who is this? Is this the musician? And I was like, I was like sincerely shocked. I was flabbergasted, to be honest. I was and I was like, no, that's Mac Jr. That's your grandson. And he was like. Oh, uh, who who are your parents? My grandfather is suffering from Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's di disease, and I'm not sure what stage it's in, but I would say it's uh, in a mid to late stage. It's a bit tough, and, and honestly, those who have family members who have gone through something similar can attest to what I'm saying. It's really tricky the mind, right? The whole sermon, the whole time I was in church, he, they had to remind, my other family had to remind him like, hey, like, you know, this is Patricia's son, you know, my mother. And he's just like, oh, who? Didn't remember mom. He's like, oh, your dad, right. I, I preached your dad's funeral, which he did. Your dad was a, a great friend of mine, young man. And it was, it, it was so disconnected and it was like, I was trying not to, I was trying not to feel everything at once. I was really just in the moment and I was like, no, I understand he's getting old. My other family, they got really emotional about it. I just sort of was like, you know, he's getting old and I understand. Was it tough? Yes, it was very tough. You know, I love my grandfather, you know. When my father died, my grandfather almost took over as like, another father figure if you will he was very supportive he helped me uh get to centenary my first college i went to for theater he he helped pay some of my tuition he really helped my family he was vital in my 
my upbringing, especially from really since being born, but primarily 17 until like 22, he was, he was huge in my life. And to walk in today and him not recognize my face, not know who I am, to say if I'm confused me with somebody else, to say, oh, like, I don't know who you are. And even I'm saying Mac Jr., I went to Centenary, like trying to jog some part of his memory. He, he just couldn't remember. At a certain point, he was like, oh, uh, I think Centenary, right? And it, it kind of jogged his memory. And, and it comes and goes, right? Uh, there's other family members who've also experienced the same thing with him. But it's just been emotional with my mom and my other aunt. You know, it's just like talking about it and discussing it. It was just kind of a hard pillow pill to swallow it was I can't really describe it I've never there's no one else in my family who's who's had Alzheimer's so this is my first time experiencing something like this and of course I know I lost a lot of weight like he like he mentioned he's like well you did lose a lot of right uh, weight right and I said yeah I have also not having my beard All right so I try to uh, I attribute it to to that Maybe he just didn't recognize me. But my mom, who he sees on a regular basis, I don't know. You know, I, I'm trying not to give him a hard time. You know, like my other family, you know, just saying, like, oh, that's sad or that's like, no, again, he's 90 years old. He's lived a great life. And I'm just I'm just excited that I, I got to see him, you know, whether this was the last time or hopefully not. But, yeah, it just, it had me down in the dumps, honestly, for, for a couple of hours, just kind of reflecting on the life that, uh, the life that we shared, the life that we had, uh, my cousin just pulled up, the life we had, the life that we shared, I just reflected on that, but, yeah, I just, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that, because it's been on my mind today, and I couldn't really, I mean, I could talk to my family, but hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. I'm going to go to his house next week and take some portraits of him and have a deeper conversation and sit down about his life and everything. So I want to have that memory and have that video of him and really... Are you winning? I'm gonna try to not um uh throw him off the cage. I'm waiting on him to get up. Let's get up. Oh yeah. Uh, has to be on the edge too. You can break those little uh, titles on the ground though too. I don't know. He might break them. Oh. Down. He might knock me down. Uh, I can't do anything when I'm stunned. Dang. I'm oh, to he's gonna throw you off. He's gonna throw you off. Oh no. Nah, I'm gonna try to reverse it.